What's up guys, Clack here, and today I got a new mic. Anyways guys, I'm going to be showing you how to be outplay, and if you have played at all this season, you probably face outplay, which is Jedi Priest, Boomkin, and Rush of Shaman. Alright, first thing to look at is what trinkets are the targets running. For instance, here, the Boomkin and Shadow Priest are running Adaptation, so what that means is you have to get the Adaptation proc already out of the way, so when you go for a kill, you're able to kill them within a stun. So what we like to try to do is to get that trinket to proc is I like to try to cyclone it. If you have any other kind of CC that you could just spam, like if you have a Warlock or a Shadow Priest or something just to get that adaptation. And all it has to be is a 5 second CC. Happen to be a class that doesn't have a CC longer than 5 seconds, then you really don't really need to worry about it because you're not going to have anything to proc it and which means you should be good and it makes their trinket very useless but a lot of times they won't even spec into adaptation if they don't have anything to even get it off so our main kill target here is going to be the shadow priest shadow priest if you lock him down most of their damage of the whole team is going to be locked down as well because it forces the boom can actually spam cyclone to get that cc so they can catch up kind of that's what it's all about this comp is a very dampening comp they won't normally get kills right off the bat normally you have to blow through all your cooldowns then they get a kill the reason why they last so long though is because they have so many buttons so many oh shit buttons like the rest of shaman has spirit link ascendance priest has disperse life swap and druid has cyclone spammable cc which is also one of the strongest ccs in the game currently so as a boomkin what i like to try to do is when we go hard i like to try to cross cc so what i try to do is maybe try to get a cyclone onto the boomkin before we go hard and then root beam the healer for an easy you know 3v1 situation it allows us to be able to pump out a lot of pressure without worrying of getting cc'd ourselves um so it also forces them the trinket if they don't have trinket like for here they're running adaptation all we have to do is get it out of the way a one minute cooldown and that we're set free to be able to dump on that shadow priest so when you're training the shadow priest most likely the healer is going to be in cc and when you get the that damage going on the Shadow Priest is most likely going to have to disperse for his oh crap moment. Or he could life swap. Most, most of the time, they're going to go ahead and disperse because it is a minute 30 second cooldown if they spec into it. So when you get that disperse, you might be wondering what do you do during that time of when he's in disperse because you're not going to be able to do any more damage to him. It's kind of simple. You could either just go Shaman if you have no more CC for him. Or you can go Boomkin and lock him down so that way they can't get any kind of pressure or that way they can't even CC you even further and then try to get a setup so there's a lot of things you could do so let's go ahead and start the video just to kind of explain what i try to do more in depth and i think it'd be a lot easier if you could actually see what i'm doing so right here i'm just trying to get my dots out i should probably be playing a little bit more aggressive that way i can get the adaptations from the boomkin and shadow priest but it looks like i'm actually trying to stay back to stay away from the cyclones but it looks like he eventually gets a cyclone on me anyways so Again, you know, I'm still trying to get that cycling going. I just get windsheared. I get beamed. They're using everything they can. Right now, windshear is still up. He windshears me. I should be trying to juke a little bit more. I think uh, sometimes I do. We actually go hard almost instantly, if you saw that. Um, I didn't even have to get any CC onto the Boomkin. My uh, Miss Weaver actually saps him. And then I ask my healer or my Windwalker if he's ready to go hard onto this Shadow Priest. And the moment he says yes, I go for a root beam. The shaman's already up by me, so he's not hugging the pillar, making it difficult for me or anything like that. So pretty much here, we're almost guaranteed a disperse, even with Earth Shield and Riptide and up. Uh, we just do too much damage. He basically would have died if he didn't first. I go for a clone out of the root beam, and basically I can go for another clone. And, you know, by the time I go for that another clone, Disperse is going to be out. So we're actually causing so much pressure right here. This Boomkin should be on Pilma right now, which they're actually doing an insane amount of damage because it is Boomkin Incarn. If you guys don't know, uh, Moonkin Incarn is a very scary thing. Should always try to CC that. And we get a triple stun. So right here, there's not much that's going to happen. We're not going to be able to cause too much pressure. Even though we have Incarn up, it's only six seconds left. Um, my monk pops mark of the death. I don't know if that was really worth it because again, we're not going to be able to get anything off. Uh, the only time we ever get kills is when we're getting the healer into some kind of CC. A root beam, a sap from the monks, stun from the monks, a cyclone, 
anything. We're never going to get a kill until that very moment. We get a sap on the healer here. Let's see if we try to do anything off of it, which we do. I get a cyclone onto the rest of Shaman. I think my, uh, my monk actually tried to kick him out of that. Uh, initially, he tried to kick him. But he wasn't able to get it off because I cycled him. Maybe that was miscommunication by our part. Uh, but again, we still had so much pressure. Browning's down. We probably could have got a kill if there wasn't a miscommunication. I'm getting cyclone spam. I triggered the first cyclone. He cyclones me again. So again, the only time, again, we're only going to get pressure at all is when the healer is in some kind of CC. Never try to go. You can try to go hard, but I wouldn't use your cooldowns um, during the priest until the healer cc'd so always wait for that but this expansion does revolve around just pving constantly so if you're running like tsg that's fine get root being going the, the shadow priest is really low but he still has life swap he's trying to mass the spell out of that root beam uh there is an aoe stun onto the rush of shaman if i went for a cyclone right here it would have actually been really huge uh i think we got life swap right there at least yeah we got a life swap from the shadow priest when it wasn't even needed they didn't even need to do it they, they kind of messed up and so you know what we got to do right now just got to wait we got to wait until our cc's up again and we get a kill i don't think they really got anything from this um they got my renewal right here if you see as 10 seconds left it's almost up now they're trying to you know just get the pressure going like literally right now we could just probably play gay as crap we could just sit behind pillar not allow them to do any kind of damage whatsoever and wait for our cds come up and go for an instant kill uh, keep in mind the Rush of Shaman is not running Trinket, so he is gimping himself. I think he's running Relentless because if we go him, he's going to have the half stun DRs, which is going to make him a really hard kill target. Plus, with a Boomkin, killing a Rush of Shaman is a little bit difficult, but it is possible. But Shadow Priest is a little bit easier to kill. Again, I have Incarn up in 20. I have Root Beam up in 20 as well, so this is a perfect timing. Again, I stopped that Full Moon. We're just trying to do some PvE damage. They cyclone me. That's okay. They literally cyclone nothing. They cyclone when we aren't going hard. They should cyclone when we're going hard. They need to stop our ghosts. If they don't stop our ghosts, they lose. And that's pretty much what ends up happening here. And we we just... This is, again, guys, try to keep in mind, these games are like 23, 50 plus MMR. So they're not the worst players. They just, you know, they're just kind of CCing at the worst time. I don't, the, the comp they're running is a very basic comp. This comp that we're playing against is probably one of the most overpowered comps. It's really mindless. All they got to do is damage. Uh, but when you get higher rating, like against us, we'll be able to cap on you if you're just randomly doing stuff. They need to have more coordination some sort of way. I get a root beam onto the Shadow Priest. We're going very hard right here. I'm trying to LOS the Boomkin from Cyclones. As you can see, he was trying to Cyclone me. We get a stun onto that Boomkin. Get dispersed. Again, after this, they don't really have very much. The, the Shadow Priest is we're killing him through Disperse, honestly. Getting a reclone. I get wind sheared. Again, I'm just trying to do a lot of damage. I could go for a Cyclone on the Druid so they can't peel. And, and that's exactly what I do. Oh my god. Ah, feels so great. We get a cross CC onto the Shaman, onto a stun, and then random PvE damage, and he's dead. And that's how this game went. Try to go hard. I'm running right now. I'm running Boomkin, Windwalker, Miss Weaver, and we're all about setup. So we. We kind of can do, you know, consistent damage, but we're not going to be anything like this comp that we're facing or TSG or anything that's, you know, damage, damage, damage. Even though we do focus on that, that's what this expansion is all about. We just don't simply land kills without our CC, our setups, and that's pretty much what makes our comp very good. Anyways, guys, I hoped I helped you to understand how to be outplay because outplay is ridiculously strong right now. Again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure to leave the like and sub button. Always.